All right, I, I just wanted to quickly make a, a short video about how to set up your um, your own library in Substance. I've, I've dealt with this in, in other, sort of as parts of other videos, uh, but I, I'm going to make a standalone here. Uh, Substance has this wonderful library, and it makes it very easy to be working on a material, right? And you can go into your library and do a search or whatnot and pull out, that's because I just changed versions, so yeah, it's just moving it into the new version. It's not normally gonna do that, but this is all perfectly okay right now. Um, so I can just drag stuff out of my library and put it into whatever this new material is. Uh, there's two parts to this. Uh, we're going to set up filters in here, but before we do that, we have to go into Edit Preferences, and we have to tell it which, um, which folder we want, our, we want to set up our library in. And we go to projects, and there, there's lots of other stuff here. You have all kinds of defaults, and we can we can do a separate video just on on this. But for the library, you go into projects and library, and in here you can add, so you can have more than one folder. And you, you pick out, you get the path for where you're going. You can click plus. You can add a new path by finding you know, folder, select folder, and now it's created created that path for me. And it's, and if you want to get rid of them, you highlight it and then you can just get rid of it. Uh, and it's, your library is going to look for it in this folder or any other subsequent folders that you put in there. I have everything on, a, on an external drive. Once I've set up my folder, I can come in here, this is my stuff, but we can make a new one, and in my library I have create a new folder, create a new filter, and edit an item. So I'm going to add a folder, and we'll call this, I right click rename demo folder, and with that folder highlighted, I can click add a new filter and it will come down here and it will give me the properties that I want to apply to my filter. So let's call this, I don't know, let's, we're going to make a new folder, we'll call it test because I have no idea what we're going to do with it until I come in here. I'm going to, I need to get a path right now. The easiest way to do this is go into, okay, so let's go into my substance library. We're, we've created a folder here. I, I happen to have one that's called demos. So I'm going to find a file, any file in here, it doesn't matter. Right click and get its properties. This is going to give me the path. So I'm just going to copy that. And then I can go back to my substance and I can paste that path in here. And then all I need to do is change this to URL. So it's now going to give me all of the items within that contain this URL. So that will also include subfolders because the subfolders will, will also contain this. You can use other parameters as well. So author, labels, blah, blah, blah. I, this is the one I use. And you can also limit it by file types as well. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of functionality in here. It's actually really easy uh, to do. Currently, I'm moving versions. So I actually have a lot of, I mean, you can see how many more folders I have in my library. 
Uh, they are not all translated here simply because I just changed, literally changed versions yesterday and I really didn't feel like going through and doing all of this. So I was only using the ones that I actually needed. I would go ahead and do it. So at some point I'll finish doing that chore. But that's it. And once you have this set up, um, if you save things to here, then you can come in at any time without having to open separate files. I have... Well, right now I don't have any materials, materials, but this is kind of a material. And again, this, it's, this is only asking me these questions because it's, it's changing versions and it's going to reformat it for this 2017 version and it won't let me open it back up in Substance 6 once I've done this. And every single time I do a new one. But you can, it, it makes it a lot easier to, um, to deal with materials because you can come in here and I can I've actually just pulled out an entire material and it's got all of the information here and all I have to do is is hook it up to whatever I need to hook it up to in my new material and that's it the it, libraries are very simple um, and I hope that's helped